Good morning, folks. It's a very calm day here at the Observers. Solar flaring remains low as the sunspots proliferate the Earth-facing solar quiet. That is, despite significant umbral birth in the south, significant umbral growth in the north, even if the magnetism is mostly spread with only a whiff of interaction, and despite the incoming sunspot down south. That one is calm thus far, but has the plasma to rock and roll if he gets some company. No CMEs, no filament destabilizations, just a calm earth-facing side of the sun. We await the solar wind stream from that dark coronal hole. But until then, the solar wind speed is calming. All higher readings dropping out actually in the magnetic shield of earth is very calm as well. Top articles today include the subtle effect of magnetism on certain crystalline structures. This one might require a PhD to understand, but the next one only requires understanding of positive and negative, or the primer fields concept, or what a Z-pinch is, or magnetic fields of a sphere magnet, etc. Yemen, as if the battles weren't bad enough, a water shortage was declared in April and they've had almost no rain since then, so the famine and drought concerns are now at critical levels. That's climate affecting culture and politics. Triple storm line in the West Pacific slowly converging up north and I am indeed a bit concerned for Japan. A bit back east, we see just how undeveloped those lows are heading for Hawaii. In the United States, the convergence lines will carry the top alerts as always tonight. Check your local forecasts around lunchtime. In Europe, you can see the low and convergence driving down from eastern Scandinavia. You see the water line heading back to the Mediterranean. That's the energy source. Down under, we have very little to say. A convergence does touch land, but the stronger ones are clearly waterbound for the near term. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. That deeper look episode I promised yesterday didn't post till midnight. Infants, they are unpredictable. It was worth the wait, I promise. Seriously, folks, it couldn't be much calmer right now. Planetary geometry starts going nuts in about a week. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.